Okay, um, today we come at 4, uh, 4 30 to set up the tables and chairs, then after that, uh, with some stage set up, um, backdrops, um, lucky draws, prizes. Then um, now we are actually cleaning up the chairs to make sure that it's clean enough for the guests to see. Normally, for this kind of events, we will involve all the volunteers to come in to help out, um, to help with the tables arrangement. But also depends on um, the kind of settings that we are doing for that day itself. Okay, but judging from the way you look at it, the queuing may be a problem. Okay, we will play by the year and we, we will see how it goes. Okay, this is my first time spearheading Hari Raya celebrations at Aljunit. I have to say that I learned a lot throughout the process. I experience a lot, as in I know the culture better, I know the race better. What I should do, what I shouldn't do, what are the things I should be sensitive towards. It's a very good process. It's a very good learning process for me. We also have got side, side, line, uh, side program, which is uh, a photo booth, you know, with uh, kampong as the background, so residents can take picture as and when they like to. And also at the same time, we have henna drawing, okay, henna drawing, customised whatever design that they would like to have. Uh, we're gonna be your MCs for tonight, hopefully to rah rah the environment and, and create a, a fun night, even though on a Sunday. Yeah, right? and, and we're really excited because we see the crowd and they look like a fun bunch of people to be with. So, yeah, we're excited for tonight. Dance to the Hari Raya song. Dance to Hari Raya song. It's always important to, to have a sense of community uh, and then this outreach helps to not only give a sense of celebration to the, to the Malay community but it, it bridges bonds between uh, other ethnic groups and, and people under the constituency for Aljunit. That's right and I think it's a good way to you know actually meet the people, meet the citizens around, the residents. So it's a very nice way to interact, you know, it's a celebration, it's an event. It's casual, it's yeah. laid back, nothing too serious and then everyone gets to enjoy food, performances yeah. and all the fun things along with it. When I was practicing this song, my wife said, please don't sing this song, you will destroy it. So I took it as a challenge and I will try my best. But first, I say sorry to me. And now I can. Some of the MPs have uh, some performances coming up. I think we will, uh, we hope to entertain the, the residents and I'm sure we will in our own way. Selamat Hari Idul Fitri kepada saudara serta saudari. It's wonderful. I think it's one thing to call ourselves a multi-religious society, but you know, I think more importantly, when everyone comes down, uh, makes new friends, you know, you you look at your your neighbours and you know them by name, and you know, when you go overseas, you call upon them to look after your house. I think we're trying to create more of that sort of kampung spirit, which I think we've had in Singapore for the longest time. And I think we want to continue doing this and you know this is just one example of, of uh, the Aljunit Constituency Committee getting together and encouraging people you know to come together, make more friends and you know create that community spirit that I think Singapore should be known for. Okay, to me it's very important. Okay, first thing is to foster community bonding. We are a multiracial, multi-religious uh, society, right? So in order for us to know each other in community practices is good to have this kind of activity regularly.
theme for this year is actually Kampong. So we want more of a Kampong uh, experience, Kampong, we will even have a lot of Kampong games. And of course one of the important aspects is uh, the MP itself is going to come up and then uh, sing some of the Kampong song or Hari Raya song. Satu hari, hari raya. Wah! Wow. Jangan <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,